saw you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kinda strange Don't even know your name What's up you guys, Vinyl Vixen, Slim Shetty. What's up guys? Hanging out at Rap Sesh. Uh, this week we are gonna feature a color change project that we are working on for a repeat customer. I think we've wrapped his car three or four times now. Repeat, he was one of our first customers. Like literally one of our first customers ever. Yeah. Um, his name is Patitude online. Patitude. If you wanna look him up on Instagram, uh, just how it sounds. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, Patitude. So it's a combined word, I don't know. It's a good one. Um, anyways, really quick though, I wanna show these magazine features that we had with Muto America this past month. Uh, the first one was for Signs of the Times. It is the October audition, I believe, or no, it's the September. A uh, really cool article called Wrap Everything. We have a little section in there called Over the Moon for Vinyl. It kind of talks about custom projects that are out of the norm and utilizing your social media. So a really good read. And then Mike. I have one from Sign and Digital Graphics magazine. And we're just talking about our printer. Kind of show you there, right at the bottom. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of talking about how we got started with our printer, with our 1624X, which is rapper's choice. Definitely. Um, and they just released their newest model. I yeah. believe it's called the 1641SR. Their new printers are Something dope. like that. Really, really cool. Yeah. Check them out, Muto America. Oh, I guess we're putting those down. <laughs> Um, so this week's project is a beautiful color. This is from the Oraful 970 RA. Um, it is called Gloss Sunset Shade Shift. Something like in that, maybe not that order, but. <laughs> really beautiful shade shift color that they have. Beautiful metallic. Uh, it's kind of an orange base with an orange metallic and blue. And it goes red. Kind of bluish red. It, go, it goes like straight red when you look like down. If you're looking down at it, like when you're walking by the car on the doors, it goes straight red. But then out in the sun, it's like got like crazy like gold sparkle. It's and crazy. It's, yeah, it's so, it pops. Really, really beautiful color. Um, one thing I really like about the Oraful, it's a high tack film, really nice to work with. Really cool color from Oraful 970 RA. One thing I really like about their film is it's actually non-directional. So even their shade shift colors that are all crazy, <laughs> normally that's a directional film. Um, this film, you can turn it any direction and install it, and it's gonna look. Um, As yeah, and normally shade shifts continuous. like there's no possible way to do that. But yeah, somehow but they, they figured, figured it out. It out. Yeah. Uh, speak of the devils, Oracal, we actually got invited to their advanced training um, over in Orange, California. Orange County. Orange County? California. Yeah, um, they invited us out to their advanced training. This was our first rap training that we've ever done. Um, we've done private PPF training with a couple people. Yeah, but that was like more of just like that a basic That was like in-house, yeah. that was private, yeah. This was an advanced training class, uh, not an, it wasn't a training class, it was an advanced certification class. Yes, so we, me and Michael went out there um, for a couple days and we got our first ever Rap certification. Certification, which was the By Oracle Oracle. advanced certification. Yeah. Um, Pretty it was cool. Really, really fun. Michael got top of the class. He he almost got a perfect score. He missed by one point out of like 175 points, I think, <laughs> uh, which is like the second best score ever or something. Um, well, you can only get 100. Yeah. You got 99, <laughs> like 99 point. It, five percent or something ridiculous yeah. um but yeah we both passed i got like a 97 percent it was it was really fun to do it was pretty brutal in the whole training process like we had to do like seven tests they were all well, the, time the actual certification test yeah they were all, all installing day. by yourself with different films color change and graphics and there were like stations stuff that we had to go to and they were all timed so like you had to finish by then to get to your next one you know like it was yeah it was it was pretty pretty intense but well, like we pretty much wrapped half of a car yeah, when we were done by yourself that, too. yeah but it was a really fun experience we got certified really cool so now we have that going and yeah, yeah. hopefully we'll do some more with Oracal. We love you guys. Thank you for providing the film. Yeah, thank um, you Oracal. But let's talk about Pat's car really quick. What's the like year make model? I don't know the year. It is a Lancer uh, Rally Art Edition. Um, a Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi, yeah. With a whole lot of aftermarket stuff on it. It's got a lot of stuff it. done to it like this aftermarket fender. 
Pander. Pander. And like it's got a lot of little toys on it. It's got like three wings on it. No. Yeah, no, it's got it's got a big wing and it's got yes. a little spoiler and then it's got a little mini carbon spoiler on top of it. There's oh. literally three. Oh. I didn't know it's got three that. wings. Three wings. Um, so. But anyways, this is actually a rewrap. We had previously wrapped his car in like a satin mystic blue. It was really beautiful. He got in a little fender bender. Um, so we're rewrapping the whole thing now. So we, we did the whole removal. Out. His car has been wrapped for about a year and a half, and the well, 3M material actually ended up pulling paint. His paint has his car has been repainted at Definitely. one point. So the bumpers pulled paint because they have been repainted, and obviously they were not painted properly <laughs> because it pulled huge chunks like, of paint right like off. Like pulled yeah. all of the paint. So we had to get the body, um, the hood and the bumpers done. The hood body just work. pulled clear coat. Yeah, the hood pulled clear coat, but, but it wasn't as bad. It created a whole other nightmare of a mess. So you do have to be careful for that when you when you have you always have to when you have aftermarket paint job. Like if it's not a factory OEM paint job it's possible you could have problems down the road because we don't know how it was prepped, how it was sprayed, you know, it's, it could, you, know, right. you never know. And this is a really good point for both like installers, shops, and customers. We go over this very thoroughly before they even get the wrap. We also make them sign warranty information papers that tell how long the wrap is meant to last, how you should take care of it, any kind of warranty information. If, so, if a warranty is voided, say we're wrapping a matte surface or primer surface, we don't typically warranty those surfaces. Um, and then in our warranty information, we always have a little section that goes into a little bit of detail about the removal of the wrap that basically says, we are not liable for any damage that comes to your paint when you remove this wrap. Um, because it comes down to the paint's condition, the wrap is only as good as the surface. Definitely. So if your paint is compromised, you might not know that, but once you stick something really sticky on top of it for two Try and a half rip years, and then you rip it off, it could pull paint. And we just don't know that if that's gonna happen or not. So but we don't cover that kind of damage. I've that's just also, an unexpected yeah, bad Yeah, it luck. is unexpected. It's You never know what you're gonna get when you have aftermarket paint jobs. but. I have never pulled paint on an OEM paint job. True. I, I, I personally have never pulled. It's always been something it's that's been repainted. It's always been something that's repainted. And a lot of times, like the paint's just not done well, like around the edges and things like that. Well, they, they don't, don't spray it. They don't completely. get sprayed enough. Yeah. And so that's where the paint's usually compromised, or you just, you know, it's an older paint or job. Or just didn't or, get prepped properly. Or that's what it usually is. Usually, it's it didn't get properly. prepped or primed properly. And it's so just... make sure you cover your butt with your warranty information on that. Let your customer customer know the true expectations of your wrap. And, and you won't have any issues down the road. Yeah, right? cover your butt.